In this quick tutorial, I'd like to demonstrate some of the recent updates that have been made to Illustrator CC 2023 that I think could be useful to you as a content creator. I'll be covering the updates from October to December of 2022. First is a feature that is going to open a lot of doors creatively and potentially could save a lot of designers time. I'm talking about the intertwine tool. If you've ever tried to overlap strokes the old fashioned way, you'll know that it's a tedious process with a lot of boring steps. Let's say I want to intertwine these two rings to make a simple logo. There are numerous ways to do it, but none offer me the flexibility of keeping my strokes and layers intact. Now all that has changed and you can simply choose the strokes you want to intertwine and then select intertwine make from the object menu. Once you do this, the tool will be activated, so be ready for the next step. The intertwine edit mode is a freeform lasso tool that you use to draw a circle around where you want the overlaps to occur. You may need to try several times to get the exact overlap you want. You can undo to go back a step. After overlapping the objects, I can freely edit their position, color, stroke width, and other properties. The intertwined feature updates on the fly. You may experience some distortion depending on how you overlap the objects. It's easy enough to reposition your objects to compensate for that. If you want to separate the objects, you can do that using the release command in the intertwine menu. The edit mode returns you to the lasso tool for selecting the overlap areas. You can encircle an area again to undo or reverse the overlap. If I expand the rings, you can see that Illustrator automatically generates the overlap by duplicating the bottom layer and placing it on top with the overlap section hidden by a clipping mask. Here's a more complicated design where I will alternate the overlaps. Some shapes like corners require a bit more precision. So undo and try to use the edge of the lasso to cut through the object to show exactly where the edge should overlap. If I had more time to play with this, I could come up with a more impressive demonstration of how to use this tool, but I'm sure you can imagine a lot of uses for this feature. Give it a try yourself. The next new feature is a welcome addition. You can now preview color and opacity changes in real time. This not only feels more intuitive, but it's also useful for making color comparisons when you overlap colors. Let's say I want to make the outline on this logo almost the same color as the background. Now I can more easily do that. It even works with swatches. Let's try it with opacity. That works nicely too. Moving on to the next new feature, we have support for tapering and twisting of 3D objects. If you're familiar with the last few updates to Illustrator, you'll know that the 3D features from Photoshop have been migrated to Illustrator. Those can be found in the 3D and Materials panel. If I draw a simple set of three circles and make them different colors, I can group them and then apply an extrusion to make some long strands. Then I can use twist to wrap those strands around each other. And if I want to taper the whole thing to a point to make a conical shape, I can do that as well. Now I can freely rotate the 3D object around. It's weird to be working on 3D in a vector application, but strangely it works. This model can be exported in a variety of formats for a variety of uses. And the last feature is interesting because it may come in handy for new users. First, open the Discover panel by going to Help, Illustrator Help. Then look under Quick Actions. Here you will find several preset styles, including some you can apply to text. This does more than the Graphic Styles panel. It seems to be more like traditional actions in that it is applying fonts, transformations, filters, and other types of adjustments to the objects. I think the point of this feature is to dazzle users with what can be done and then link them to the resources they need to learn how to do these things manually. But it would be cool to see something like this replace or improve upon the actions panel to make it more visually appealing and offer more adjustments. The actions panel is a very powerful feature that often gets overlooked because it is so dull. As software automation is becoming more mainstream, I wouldn't be surprised if many applications begin to overhaul their actions features or put more emphasis on them. There you have it, the top new features for content creators in Illustrator CC October through December 2022. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe and become a member today. Thanks for watching and stay creative.